in it. It has vanilla. Sign me up. Sign me up. Hello, I'm Ada Perfumes and welcome to my channel. Here we talk about all things perfume, beauty and lifestyle. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button, like, share and of course turn on notifications so you can get notifications when I do post a video. Today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite perfume houses, Mansera. And I'm gonna just go straight to the point and tell you why I'm obsessed with these fragrance houses. They have, hands down, one of the most long-lasting perfumes. Like, I can't even, don't even argue with me. Like, don't argue. They have one of the most long-lasting perfumes. Their perfume, the way they perform, it's just, it's out of this world. So today we're gonna be doing a little countdown of my top four. Four Mansara perfumes I own and what I think about them and how I would rate them. So let's get straight into it. <laughs> okay, let's go into it. Let's go into it. Coming in strong at number four is Oud Exclusive by Mansara. Oud Exclusive is just, ooh. I feel from the name, you automatically already know that this has oud. So this is a very oud every fragrance, but this is so beautiful. This is just a beautiful, beautiful oud. You know, I feel like Mansara and oud together, imagine Mansara already lasts so long and oud helps perfume last even longer. Just imagine that combination. Imagine that amalgamation of two perfect names you know <laughs> but honestly this is a beautiful fragrance i remember when i got this fragrance it's not just one i had watched a youtube recommendation i'm gonna try to put the youtuber's name on here i think her name is victoria i'm not sure but i'm gonna put a name on here i'd watched a recommendation from her because i love mansara and i was trying to get more mansara perfumes just because of how long they last and how amazing they smell um i was trying to get more mansara perfumes but i didn't know which one to get and she had talked about this and was like, she's obsessed with this. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try this. I'm going to see if I'm also going to be as obsessed with this as she was. And I tried that this has, oh, it smells so good. So, so good. Um, let me go over the notes with you. It has saffron. It has labdanum. It has common, pepper, Bulgarian rose, patchouli, oud, and violet. It's a beautiful oud scent that is just, it's not like, it's oud heavy, fine, but it's not oud aggressive, if that makes sense. As oud heavy as it is, it's not aggressively oud. It's an oud that smells like money. It's rich, it's, it has depth, and I love that. I remember when I first got this perfume, I could not believe how great it smells. It's like, what? Why are we not talking about this? It smells so good. Um, the only thing I would say that I don't particularly like is when it dries down, and I think I just have to wear it a few more times to be sure. When it dries down, sometimes it gives off this dry down that I just don't enjoy. So I think I'm gonna either lay it with some other perfumes or I'm gonna try to wear it more during different weathers just to get more from it. But for right now, the only reason I've not worn this as much as I should is when it dries down, it just has this, I don't know, maybe I just need to get used to it, but it has this distinctive smell when it dries down that I am not completely in love with. But apart from that, this I absolutely adore. I love this over and over and over again. This is number four for my Mansara perfumes that I absolutely love. Let's go to number three. Coming in at number three of my top four Mansara perfumes is Black Vanilla by Mansara. This is what it looks like, the bottle black, the so black vanilla. So here it is. Black Vanilla by Mansara was one, I had seen it on someone's page and you know, any perfume that has vanilla in its name automatically has my heart. That's the first way you get me to try something without even sampling it. It has vanilla, sign me up. 
sign me up so i was like okay you know what i'm gonna try this i already like mancera and this is something that is probably vanilla heavy i'm super excited for it so i got it i just want to stop by saying i don't know why they decided to call this black vanilla this should be called peachy vanilla so the notes include black currant white peach coconut violet madagascar vanilla musk this is one of the most powdery fragrances i own it is so powdery so if you don't like powdery scents you probably want to shy away from this one it is super powdery but it is not like vanilla vanilla it's very peachy the peach comes through more than anything else so they should have probably named this like peachy vanilla or something but this is a beautiful peachy vanilla it's very powdery for me i feel like it's very soft and of course it lasts so long but it took a little bit of time for me to get used to this one just because the peach is a lot and you know i sprayed and it was like oh too much peach i wasn't i was expecting too much vanilla but i got too much peach so if you are thinking of getting this one i would say don't expect it to be like vanilla 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 it's more peach more coconut more tropical than just vanilla but it smells amazing it's powdery it's peachy it's i like it i really do like it so this is coming at number three let's go to number two coming in at number two is roses vanille by mancera this is a really 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 good one of all the manceras i feel like this is this and black vanilla are the two that i would say they're very you can actually incorporate this into your everyday routine it's a good everyday perfume however when i initially got this and i saw roses vanilla i was expecting a sweet sweet rose it is not a sweet sweet rose this is uh it has lemon it has water notes, it has rose, it has sugar, it has vanilla. The sugar does make it sweet. The sugar makes it sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. You get the rose, but it's you get the vanilla, it's not too sweet. It's not like, I wouldn't say this is gourmand gourmand, like, you know, licking off your buddy kind of gourmand. This is um, a good mature everyday scent that you wear, very long lasting, which is why I think it's great. As you can see, I have used my bottle pretty good. Um, it's just so comforting. It's a good rose. It's a rose that the lemon really comes through with as well. And it's not like tangy or like too citrusy. The vanilla kind of puts it down, but it's not too sweet either. This is a great one. I This is one of the few monsters that I would say I can actually wear to work and not be concerned that, you know, I'm doing too much, so to say. So this is a great one. Absolutely love it. Hit that number two spot. Let's go to number one. Number one. No, okay, let's go to number one. <laughs> coming in super strong i think you already know which one it is but coming in super strong and number one is instant crush by mancera oh my darling instant crush this <laughs> The stories I could tell you of times I have worn this and gotten so much compliment. This is a beast mode perfume. This is the perfume you wear when you want to get attention. This has saffron, ginger, bergamot, um, mandarin. It has rose. It has um, vanilla. It has sandalwood. A lot of people compare this to Baccarat Rouge. They're like, oh, they're cousins, they're cousins. But honestly, this guy stands on his own for me. You cannot deny the fact that they do have similar DNA, of course. But it's just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful scent. I always wear, this is my go-to anytime I'm going for like a wedding. It's great during hot weather. It When it's like a large, gonna be a large crowd of people around me, I wear this because, you know, it, it just it's just so great it's an amazing walk of art it's a beautiful beautiful you know creamy spicy vanilla it's just it's just an attention grabbing fragrance and i think this is one of mancera's best it's an attention grabbing compliment getting you know or inspiring <laughs> beautiful mancera's fragrance so this is my number one and yeah i would recommend this for someone that wants a very long lasting attention grabbing compliment getting fragrance this will do the job just fine so that completes my top four mancera perfumes i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching it till the end i do appreciate you thank you for being here if you have not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe go ahead and like and go ahead and turn on notifications so you can watch my videos when i do post them Thank you for being here. You're amazing. Have a great day. Mwah, 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 mwah.